and on your election headquarters, the Joy Ballot Box train makes its first stop at Hohoi in the Volta region. At 5 p.m. today, live on your election headquarters, on Joy 99.7 FM, on the Joy News Channel, and on myjoyonline.com, electorates and their political representatives will gather on the same platform to discuss issues of concern to them as they prepare to cast your ballot on December 7. But why Hohoi? Joy News' Fred Kwame Asari tells us more in the following report. Hohoi Municipality is one of the 18 administrative districts and municipalities of the Volta region of Ghana. It is also among key lively commercial towns with lots of key state institutions in the region, among which is the Bank of Ghana office. It was carved out of the Kwando district between 1978 and 79 and was later upgraded to municipal status in 2005. According to the 2010 population, the municipality, which covers a land area of 1,172 kilometers square, had a population of 167,016. The city population .de projected the municipality's population to hit 210,769 in 2020. The area has since time immemorial played an integral part in Ghana's politics. Being a stronghold of the United Party tradition in the post-independence era, it metamorphosed to a National Democratic Congress NDC stronghold. You know, before the Fourth Republic, the whole Hawaii, as we know historically, is UP tradition driven, which for now emanates into the MPP uh, government. So the whole of Hawaii, Hawaii areas were Dankwa, Buzia, Dumbo tradition. Until uh, the era of NDC, where no, the PNDC, where J Jerry John Rawlings came in, and uh, being the son of the uh, soil of Volta, uh, he has driven so much of the people. I could even say about 90% of the tradition has changed to support. Uh, the NDC. The NDC has since been dominant in the constituency. Parliamentary candidates on the NDC's ticket had a field day in the last seven general elections. We have been NDC throughout this region because this is the stronghold of the NDC we all know and we accept. So from 1992 to date, we have the NDC parliamentarians throughout. We have uh, uh, Madam Honorable S.C. Pumari. Then there came Honorable Nat Adwajo. Then came uh, Jacob Haibo. After Jacob Haibo, then we have Honorable Madam Adiku Helu. So all these parliamentarians were NDC. That notwithstanding, the energy minister. John Peter Amewu is seeking to turn the tables and make history come December 7, 2020. He is contesting the parliamentary elections on the ticket of the New Patriotic Party against the NDC's Dr. Margaret Kweku. The abnormal times within which the country finds itself as a result of COVID-19 makes the Hohoi municipality the perfect first point of call for the ballot box train. It is one of the few towns which first recorded COVID-19 in the Volta region, but has managed to contain the spread. As the Joy Ballot Box train makes its first stop at Hohoe, a key issue which will not elude the electorates as they prepare to engage their political actors is the state of access roads in the municipality. That's the spoil, they are shocked. Our well, team's plenty of for the kind body, so I beg the government seriously. Uh, I'm government, I'm MPP man, so I'm here at the back. Uh, maybe we can do something more for the road before the election time to happen. Uh, so the car is poor, the car is poor. That one, the, if you feel this road, if you don't, if you don't put quota safe, go feel get vote for her. So if you don't feel, do, if you don't feel something for the road, the, you go worry. You go get vote, so no, the vote no go be, you no go go up. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News, Hohoe.